Welcome, 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 everybody, to another great episode of Real Life Matters. Of course, I am your host, D Boss, and I'm just thanking everybody who has been doing their 15 minutes or more of laughing every day. Um, I just want to thank you because, you know, I know you, everybody's been feeling better because I've getting feedback from it. And, uh, you know, it's, it's an all overwhelm. It has a lot of health benefits to um, laughing. And, you know, it's not just for the individual. You could everybody in the family of all ages can participate with you. It also it lowers your blood pressure. It um, makes you feel better, makes you look youthful. It also um, how you start your day is how you're going to, you know, finish it and people will receive you. And don't say you don't have anybody that can um, laugh with you. You could call somebody. You could put something on that streaming that's funny. And you could just go, you go half hour to 45 minutes. That's all the better for your health because it helps uh, tone those abs. Yeah, you're going to be a little bit sore, but that's okay because at least those muscles, you're working those happy and you're releasing all those ND morphines in your body. So we're going to hear something from, from one of our sponsors, Vital Steps to Vital Health and Fitness, and we'll be right back with our special guest. Welcome to your Vital Steps to Better Health. I'm Joanne James. Today we're going to talk about exercising in the sun. We all love the sun. It's been the winter. Now we want to get out into the fresh air and enjoy the great weather. However, we have to be very mindful when we're exercising in the sun. First of all, you want to protect your skin at all costs. Regardless of your background, you still need to wear a sunblock of 30 plus. Also, you want to make sure you're wearing a hat to protect your facial skin, as well as glasses to protect your eyes. Also make sure that you hydrate as you're doing your activities. Sometimes you won't feel that you're thirsty, but in actual fact you are. So make sure you drink. Don't wait to become dehydrated first. And listen to your body. If you start feeling a little nauseous or dizzy or fatigued, that might be signs of a heat stroke. Get into the shade, sit down and call somebody to assist you. Being out in the sun and exercising is great, but you have to be um, very, very, very aware of where you are, what you're doing, and make safety your top priority. I'm Joanne James, and this has been your Vital Steps to Better Health and Fitness. See you next time. Well, thank you, uh, Joanne James, for that tip. Hydration is very important, and it doesn't mean that you're hydrating yourself with six beers or some liquor or some rum punch or something. You think that's hydration. <laughs> <laughs> you could drink that, but drink your water too. Even if it's flat water or you like sparkling or whatever type of water, just take one and one and one. That way you'll be, you'll be all right. But today we got someone, we're going to find out all about his career, his soca. He does, he's coming in from, I'm not even going to tell you where he's coming in from and his, and his background, because that's what we're going to ask him. And also we're going to tell, find out about all the hiccups in his, in his journey, all the great things he's accomplished in his journey also anything that he wanted to do that he couldn't do and that he knew back then that he would do now we'll find out uh, all those uh questions and and stuff from him so with no further ado we're going to get into it i introduce to you pappy boy <laughs> <laughs> He's clapping to me, people. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we know how this is gonna go. This is gonna be one. <laughs> it's gonna be one of the therapy sessions, yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so you could. You're, are you, you're one of those ones that don't drink any water, or. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I drink a lot of water. Drink a lot of water. Okay. All right. So here at Real Life Matters, we like to know everybody what's their cultural background and where they come from. Oh well, um, I'm from the beautiful island of Grenada, Kariku and Peter Martinik. Oh, okay. I guess yeah. everything's a little bit. You're from there, and then with the hurricane, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So the thing is, um, I've been through. I've witnessed Hurricane Ivan, so. I know what my fellow brothers and sisters um, encounter during hurricane burial. So I felt okay. the pain because even here, you living in the UK now, I was very, very, very emotional. Very. Because, yeah. uh, you know, I witnessed the hur hurricane Ivan and to see what happened with Karakor, we're like, wow. You know, I had yeah. that experience, yeah. 
So they got a lot of rebuilding. Oh, yes, they do. They do. They wow. Do. Well, this is a time when people will come together and everybody will build up Grenada back yes. to where, you know, the island of Karakou back to where it's going to be. It won't be this, the same sort of, you know, antiqueness, but <laughs> at least, yeah, you, can, yeah. you know, with all these things, you can restore things in different ways. That's true. But in any ways, um, so you come from, so both your parents come from there? Yes, my mom and my dad from Grenada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grenadians, Grenadians. Um, my dad, you know, musician, he little play, used to play sport like cricket. Um, my mom was more sports, you know, more into cricket, track and field, and so forth. Okay, so, yeah, so I get both background music and sports background. So, you like playing sports too, I take it. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. So I mean, I know you're gonna ask some questions. Um, maybe if I should wait until they ask me those questions, yes, then, uh, yeah. <laughs> then I'll answer. Yes, but, yes, I'll be yeah, there. Yeah. All right. Well, I want to find out. Like, okay, you, you said that your father was a musician. He played. So, do you play musical instruments also, or? Yes. Um, I play the the piano. I'm not. I'm not the best, but I, okay. you know, I play the piano. Um, I have knowledge of the bass guitar, the rhythm guitar. Uh, I could play the drums also. Um, musically, the only thing I can do maybe is to blow the trumpet or play some trombone or whatever. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> well, you blow your voice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, um, but, um, but I could do it on the, uh, on, on the piano, so that's good. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, it helps a lot when people play musical instruments, you know, so oh, yeah. oh, it yeah. helps with your voice. So when you do your creativity and stuff, where do you do that? Where? Where? Like, are you walking down the street? You're having a drink in the backyard? You just... It all, it? it all depends. It all depends. Um, So I'm, I'm, I'm someone that's very, like, very creative. I have a creative mind. So I could be, be you know, um, walking walk in the street, as you said, um, and then something could hit me and I will pull up my phone immediately and start recording the melody. That, that's what I usually do. I could be on walk and something hit me and I'm going to pick my phone. <laughs> I could be on the train. I could be on the train. It could be so much noise, bus, anywhere. I'm going to pull up my phone. That's me. Okay. Um, I remember one, a few times I'm, I'm on the plane and something hit me i couldn't reach my laptop and the only thing i could have seen in front of me i had a pen so the only thing i could have seen in front of me you know the the bags that i usually put to yeah the, vomit, the vomiting bags yeah come on i had to take that and start writing uh -huh. lyrics right now. <laughs> full of lyrics yeah that's 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 sometimes you know that's a creative i could be at times you know yes so how did you come up with Pappy boy ah uh, that's a very, very, that's a very nice question. Um, Papi was given to me by my cousin from since very, very, very young age. And the boy actually came from school. Um, I wanted to put, I wanted to put something along with the Papi, not just Papi, because, you know, sometimes when you hear the word Papi, first thing that comes to your mind is an old guy, you know, grandfather or, or, or some father like figure, you know? No, so, really, you're thinking, <laughs> in, 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 you're thinking, and if it's a Spanish term, it's a puppy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so I was like, okay, how can I make it, you know? And then in school, while I'm in school, um, you know, we started a group in while in school. Um, the group name was Credit Rock Boys. So I had to find something to put up to tag along. So immediately I'll be like, oh, okay. To try Papi Boy, but instead of spelling it with a B O Y, I'll spell it with a B O I. So okay. Papi Boy, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's how the the Papi Boy came along. But the Papi was given to me from since since I know myself. Everyone, <laughs> everyone is calling Papi. <laughs> Papi, yeah, Papi yeah, yeah. Boy, come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So tell us who have you worked with in the industry. Uh well, um. I've worked with a lot of big names in, in the Caribbean. Um, well, in Grenada in particular, um, 
scholar, um, 10 times Caliph of Monarch. Um, I've done some work with WZ also, the great, the legendary WZ. Mm -hmm. um, inspector, I work with Inspector. Um, I did some work with Tal Pri at one time. Um, I did some recordings for Boise, the groov current groovy, groovy monarch. Okay. Um, Terra the governor, Terra the government governor. Um, his brother Asylum. Um, in Grenade. Uh, oh, rest in peace, the mighty Tangela. Okay. Yes, I, I did some some work with the mighty Tangela before he passed away. Okay. So rest in peace. Um, Mystic. Oh, there's so much I could call right now. <laughs> like, well, um, call them, call them. We want to hear. Everybody want to know what it's about you. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah Mystic. Um, um, I've worked with Scholar Son, Philanda Jeffrey. I was um, fortunate enough to work with him when he partake in the school soccer monarch. So he won both. He won the school soccer the, both years. He won them back to back, and I was, you know fortunate enough to work with him on that project. Yeah, and um, also um, Little Jello. Little Jello right now, he's making his name right now in the business. Little Jello, I, I produced, I was one of the, the guys who, you, well, I was the one who Little Jello started off with. I started producing for him when he was in um, high school, both he and Phil and Jeffrey. Um, they came, Phil and came first in the school soccer monarch. Little Jello came second. So that was a good accomplishment for me back, back then. Um, um, power, power music, power mastering, however you call his name now, because he does a lot of mastering for Marshall Montano, a lot of, a lot okay. of the big names. He started off with me. Wow. <laughs> yeah, 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 this guy, he started off with me. So one of his first songs that, that he recorded I, I did it and that that yeah he he's from Guav in Grenada and that that little town Guav we usually call it little New York they never some people there never sleeps so he was you know he was fortunate enough to have his song playing right through the year that same carnival season and he was a young you know up, up and coming soccer artist no he's he's a big engineer master in engineer so so yeah um yeah, I walked walked along with a lot of few. Even the um, no, you might hear about the young um, Black Bobby. Okay. The Black Bobby. Yeah, I've I've been working with her father for a lot of years, and um, I started recently. I started working with her. The same song that she has, she partake in the the youth soccer monarch. I was the one that mix it for her, mix and master it. So, and now it's one of the biggest songs because of the message behind the song. It was one of the biggest songs in Grenada, so which, which I'm very, very, very proud of. And um, Black Adan, recently, well, it's been two years now. I've been working with with Black Adan, and so far I could tell you it's 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 been a great, 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 great ride. Um, nice. Last year was our first year together. We we did something really, really nice, and he made it all the way through the Groovy Finals. And this year, we actually have, well, I should be proud to say that because we actually have one of the biggest songs in Grenada. And I think it's going to be the biggest song in the Caribbean and maybe the world. Because yeah. it's, it's just, the song is just growing because um, within one week time, we moved from 20,000 to 130 something thousand views. And, you know, for soca songs to be getting all that, that attention, it's, it's. That's it's very good. Yeah, it's something big. So, so so far, um, we've been doing good, and yeah, all my right. <laughs> so you've worked with so many, <laughs> yes, mainstream people, artists that you've done. So, I always ask everybody because you never know here at Real Life Matters somebody watching and they which they do, yeah. um, which which um, three artists would you like to do a collaboration with? that you haven't? Uh, uh, should I say, well. Any genre is what you do, because you know, everybody's doing. 
Any genre. So you're talking about on a whole? International. On a whole. Oh, well, I definitely want to do one with, with Marshall Montana. Okay. Um, I was I was actually. I, I thought was, you already had doing one with him or something. <laughs> I was about to say something like that because, <laughs> so um, I had the opportunity to, to, be by his side, I should say. Um, so Digicel, um, Digicel had a Digital Caribbean. They had a competition, a, sl a regional slash international competition, where they gave us the opportunity to to put together a song that they they sponsored with Marshall Montano and Tess and Chin together with Usain Bolt. So they gave us the platform where they gave us everything, um, you know, and they asked us to remix the song. Um, can can we bring the beat out of the song? Okay. So I took part in the competition. I'm going to be honest. I wasn't thinking about winning because when I started the project, a lot of things happened. And basically, I said to myself, I'm late because I've seen a lot of producers and who mix it engine and whatever. They had like over a thousand plus views going already. And I, I just started. So I was like, there's no way I could I could top that. But um, one thing I have, one thing I know because of my creative mind, I know that I was different than all the others. The way I, the way I did it, I actually bring out the beat, you know? So when I got the call from Digicel and they said, congratulations, you're the winner. I was like, what? <laughs> that, that was a that was a shocker to me, and um, yeah. So I had an opportunity to um, be with Marshall Montano, um, listen to a lot of his his um, future stuff, um, listen to where he wants to go with music in the future. Um, I also played him a lot of stuff of my own, and yeah, we um, we we actually you know said you know okay. We need to do something together. So I'm I'm right now still in the process trying to, you know, something you want to get that project to be like, okay, this is Marshall Montano. Right. He's so I'm in the process of doing that right now. I'm I'm, I'm being honest. I'm in the process of doing that right now, and then I'm gonna be like, hey, I found it. <laughs> <laughs> then you gonna come back. Yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> okay, so who's your number two? Who's your number two? Oh. I also want to get a collaboration with Kess because um, I think, yeah, because I think um, what I do in terms of, you know, where I go with my music, I think Kess is also on that same journey, on the same path. So, yeah, okay. doing a collaboration with Kess also, I think it would be a big deal for the ladies. Okay. <laughs> 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 Calypso. <laughs> I also <laughs> It's for the ladies, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everything's for the ladies. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Without, without you guys, without you, yeah. then there will be no us, you know. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, your third one. Oh, third one. If I could move out of um, out of soca, then if I want to go to hip hop. I would really love to do a collaboration, with maybe with Jay Z someday. You know, it's not a, it's not a must that um we do a collaboration where I'm singing or whatever, but with me producing, with me doing the production, the mixing, and so forth. Yeah, I would love to do that for sure. For sure, okay. he's one of my he's one of my favorite hip hop artists. So, all so right. Yeah. So you guys talk about ladies, but you didn't mention any ladies that you want to do a collab with. So give me two. Give you two. Straight off the bat, <laughs> one Beyonce. Wow. Two, two Rihanna. Woo! Those are yeah. some good ones there. Boy. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> the reason, the reason why I'm choosing both of them, um, I've seen what Beyonce can do. She's very, very versatile, right? But um, with Rihanna, she have the Caribbean vibe. What? You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. She have the Caribbean vibe, so I know she could, she could be able to, to move from that dimension to this one, very easily. So and yeah. she got the Bayesian vibe too. That's my parents from Barbados. Got the Bayesian vibes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they want the people from Barbados. <laughs> yeah. 
So if anyone here from Barbados listening, if you want to hook me up with Rihanna, let's do it. All right. Let's do it. All right. So I got some of your music here. So tell us about um this one here called what is it? Will shot Will's Willski <laughs> Whiskey. What is it called? So it's addicted. Addicted. Yeah, addicted. I just testing and see if you know your song. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good because you know sometimes as as entertainers we have so much, so much, you know, and then we're trying to remember which is rich, which is rich. So that's good though. So tell us about this song. What's this song about? Uh, it's about basically it's about love. Um, mm -hmm. It's about showing that special person that um, you definitely in love with them and um, you basically addicted. The word alone says it all, addicted. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, addicted love, People, love. he said it, he said it live here. Yeah, 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 addicted. So let's addicted. hear some of this. Um, Let's hear this addicted now. Let's hear we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. That's a good. I like that one. I really like it. Oh my gosh! It says it's like it's love. like it's like addicted, baby. Addicted to your love. I'm so addicted. I addicted to your love. Addicted, baby. Addicted to your love, honey. Mm. All right. So let's hear this one now. I done. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> here are people I'm talking about addicted, but he's done now. <laughs> so tell us about that one. So I done. It's the name I done. Well, says it all. Okay, I done. But um, it's 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 a very it's a very catchy song. Though. Um, um, it's basically saying that um, you know um. I'm single. I'm, okay. I'm free. Uh -uh. You know. Yeah. I'm back. I'm basically. I'm, I'm back. Free yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm single. I'm free. I'm back in the market. You know. You know. Okay. Yeah. I. I actually, you know, wrote the song because I've realized sometimes a lot of people are afraid to say that they're they're single. You know, and I it just it just it's just a song to give the single people, you know, a chance to sing out and be themselves you know yeah but um we, we could have well, a listen, I, bet you, know? I bet you they will poppy boy <laughs> <laughs> i'm sure they will with this song <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> right <laughs> so here we go i okay. done people he told you what the meaning is so here we go <laughs> i'm poppy She's up, she's up. 
You tell me means to stay. Woo! I'm back on the market. I'm back on the market. Man single and free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm back on the market. I'm back on the market. I in a fetan, I done so kill wet and I done hands up high and I done a wine till the sun down. Why? I done, 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 done. <laughs> <laughs> Go down, 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 down. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, you gotta tell us about this one. Um, as a woman. Oh, no, this one is, okay, so I produced this one. This one was produced by me. But, oh, um, okay. yeah, it's it's on the same rhythm of Aiden, but this one is by Valine Ned. Okay. So, yeah, so it's the same production with the Aiden, but um, it, it, it's by Valine Ned. And I, I surprisingly, I didn't call her name and say that I worked with her because so much, so much, but yes. Well, you're I, I, it now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Valine Ned, yes. Um, I've worked with Valine Ned before. On All right, so let's hear me. this one. You're gonna love this one though. Take your joke and leave. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if everybody wants to approach everything like that. Yeah. But, <laughs> but, but you must like whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. 
It was a fun project. You, you it's just real life, black people. We're giving it to you real here. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> real life. <laughs> okay, so you got here. Thank God for Soka. So tell uh, us about that one. Yeah, so, <clears throat> so um, how should I put it? So I I remember one time I went to Trinidad. And, okay. Oh. That was after, after the whole stuff with Digicel with Marshall Montano right. meeting. At the same time, I met um, Stone Boy from Ghana. Okay. Yeah, the Afro Afro artist. Afro and beat. Afro beat. Yeah. So we were we were all in the studio. Travis World. All we were all in the studio. Um, and after moving after after that year, I wanted to do something in recognition of soca music like um uh, you know ras shati eye how can i get to put ras shati shati eye because he's the one that created soca he's the one that started started you know with the soca movement so how can i get him involved in my music and while in trinidad the year the year after the idea the idea hit me and i just you know what I said. I usually put down stuff when I when 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 it get to me. So I started putting down the the guitar for for the for the track. That was the only thing I had. I had. A... I didn't know what to do anymore. That was the only thing I had. And I went back to Grenada. Um, I had this thing played in my mind over and over. And one one evening I was in the shower. And I was like, Thank you, Father, for blessing Russia TI. I was like, what? Huh? That was it. That was it right there. And immediately I grabbed my phone because I didn't want to lose the melody. Immediately I grabbed the phone and I start, Thank you, Father, for blessing Russia TI. So I was like, okay, but I didn't know where to go from there. So, but I started to hum, 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 and then when I when I finished with the hum, maybe the climax, I say, thank God for soca. I was like, whoa, that's it right there. And after that, that was it. Um, I hit up one of the writers that I've met um, with with Marshall Montano, Keegan Taylor, and I sent all my ideas, all the ideas, the start, the first, the first verse with the chorus and so forth. And I say, hey. I'm trying to go this way with with the song. What do you think? Um, can you can you can you can you write? Can you help me with the writing with this one? Because I want I want it to be big. So it was like, bro, I love it. I love it. That's it right there. I say, okay, let's do it. So I, I sent it for him. Whatever happened on my birthday, May second, he sent it back on my birthday. I was like, whoa. Yeah. So when, it, <laughs> so when he sent it, I was I was out and I was dinner. I was on a dinner. I'm having dinner and I got it. And to be honest, I forget all over the dinner. And I was, I had the phone in my ears. I was like, oh, that's it right there. He stick with the same melody, um, the same, my same verse. So I had it written, wow. it's stuck with it. It just, the pre chorus, it just changed the pre chorus around the melody. And I was like, yo, that's it right there, bro. That's it there. And yeah, Tango Soka, it was one of the, the biggest songs the year in Grenada, still up to, to this present day. Whenever the song get, play anywhere in Grenada or anywhere in the Caribbean. It's it's big. People people usually relax and sing because I think it brings out that it invoke that 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 spirit, that um that African spirit also, you know, with the drums right. and so forth. Yeah. So we're gonna hear this one now. Oh Thank yeah. God for Soka. Here we go. Oh yeah.
Oh yeah, oh yeah, this one does invoke the spirit, man. <laughs> good. Uh, this one does invoke the spirit, man. It does invoke it, you know? Right. Uh, so what are you working on now? Oh, I have um I have some really, really hmm, some really, really good music, like good music. Um I should I should say Matthew music. Okay. Because um because now I'm trying to you know, I'm trying to my best to see how I could fuse, um, you know, soca with together with um, UK um, UK drill um, with hip hop with Afro. That's what I'm trying to do. Trying to fuse them. You know, trying okay. to create that new sound. Right. That's exactly what I'm trying to do. Yeah. All right. So in your career, do you want how do you you want to give any shout outs to anybody that supported you along your whole career? Oh yeah, I want to shout out each and every one of those who are listening that know where I come that that knew where I come where where I come from and to where I am today and who 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 has been a part of that journey. I just want to say thank you so much. Thank you so much for you know believing in me, um, for trusting me. Um, because I'm gonna tell you, um, scholar, um feeling Jeffrey Scholar. It's been a, it's been more than five years, more than six years now. We've been working together, and for someone of his caliber, who won ten Calypso Crown, won Groovy, won you know he did basically, almost won everything. Um, for someone to still trust me up to this present day with some of his projects, you know these are some of the people that I want to say you know thank you so much for trusting me. Um, my mom, my dad, my entire family. I want to say thank you so much for believing in me. Um, my co-producer, Cactus, we, I, we call him Cactus, but his name is um, um, Joseph Thomas. Um, we want to say, I want to say, bro, thank you so much for writing, believing in me and, you know, creating, you know, our production company, Loyalty Family Production. And you stuck with me all to this present day. You're still with me. So I want to say thank you so much, bro. A lot of a lot of things maybe I wouldn't have done it with, without you. Just want to say thank you. Let's continue this ride. We're aiming for bigger and better things. Hopefully, one day we're gonna have a Grammy by our name, which is should be the pinnacle, right? So yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So so yeah. All right. So if people want to follow you on social medias and stuff, where can they find you? Um, you can find me on Instagram. It's Papi Boy Official. Okay. Um, it's very simple. I T S P A P P Y B O I official. <laughs> yeah. So um, Facebook, you're going to get me as Damien Pappy Boy La Pump. So you're going to get my government name there. But um, <laughs> the, the, the sad, the sad thing is um, I can't, I can't accept any more friend requests on Facebook. So that that's a sad oh, thing. Are, are people allowed to follow you? Yeah, you can follow me now because okay. uh, yeah, because right now we well, better add me then. No, just joking. <laughs> it's like it's like you know, it's like uh, one of my friends used to say, um, if you if you go to a dance and it's full. Just take pull somebody out and then go in, you know. So you got to change. Right yeah, so, there. <laughs> so so yeah. No, no. Um, <laughs> I have I have a lot of friend requests right now pending on on Facebook. I don't even know what to do because every time. Well, I, I, well I, if they if they can follow you, then they're just following. 
Yeah, yeah. But you gotta so, make sure your following is on. Yeah, yeah, I will, I will, I will, I will. Because that's can. the only her right now, then you could Yeah, because they can with. follow you. You can follow up to it more than that. So yeah. yeah. All right. So it's been a pleasure. You gotta come back when you get your new stuff. Oh, and yes, everything else. Yes, People yes. follow him, buy, stream the music. Because yep. that new one that you just put out for 2024, I done. That's oh. <laughs> yeah, you know, and yeah. everybody heard that one. So, you know, it's a really good song. It's, beat, it's for you. Grenada people, you know, yes, and support. You. Go out there and support because he's got to, you know, they got to help build back their Karakou. That's where he's from, Grenada. Oh. So, Grenada, yes, yes. <laughs> so you guys can do that. So anyways, I, it's been a pleasure here in this journey, and the journey Thank continues so with Pappy Boy. Oh, I'm yes, oh, you. yes. All right. So everybody, good night, and bye for now. It's been a pleasure. Bye.